Welcome to the Wiggishire Project. Unleashed. What's going on, folks? Yesterday, Sharon, I, and Nathan moved this beast from way back there, halfway across the yard. nice out. I finally got that tarp up on the house. It's 10 degrees cooler in there. Want to keep a tiny home cool? This is a great idea. One of the subscribers down there mentioned sending you the cool weather. Hope it comes your way. It has. Over my shoulder here you can see that tree. Again it's not in our property. Uh, I've got to get the truck, uh, the tow strap, and I got to pull it this way. And get, then I got to get the... Well, that's a lot of abuse on the truck. Why don't we just cut it up? Be smarter about that. Sun's about there. It's probably about 10 a.m. And I'm sitting in sun, right? But this is what we mean about the panel sitting in shade. And about another hour, they'll be sitting mostly in sun. That's no good. We're only pulling in around, well, from the front panels, we're pulling in probably around 600 watts. And then from these panels, maybe just 100 or two. And that's over 3,000 watts sitting there. This part of the yard's in the sun. I really got to move these. I got to pull them out about 10 feet. I don't want to. It's a lot of work. I have to feel like I'm in the mood to do it. My wife did say um, she'd come out and help me. And that's good for me. Um, those panels are not light. Each panel is about 50 to 75 pounds of dead weight. Uh, it's mostly not so much the metal, it's the glass that's on them that uh, brings the weight into solar panels. Gotta do something today. Back is killing. Short of breath. We're moving the solar panels out there. And as I said, I got about 20 minutes in me. I keep going out and back in, getting dizzy. Just had enough of it, of those panels sitting in the shade. Uh, we moved them to the middle of the yard. So in between the run-ins back and forth, um, I'll try to take a picture or two. We're not showing you guys how I was moving them. It's just, I just don't have it in me. I just got enough to make a videotape while I'm in here because it's nice and cool. And we got them leaning flat more, more towards the sun. So we're pulling a lot more amps in. We also flatten them down for the summertime positioning of the sun. The flat ones here work a lot better than those ones. It almost killed me yesterday to do that. And her. Uh, probably took us about an hour and a half with about 10 minute breaks going into the house where it's nice and cool. And then coming back out and moving all this. I did the bulk of the work. And um, I had her do all the connections. And Nathan ran underneath while I was holding panels up. And he was feeding those wires. And oddly... You'd think we'd make more solar power. We're not. Why? Why did that happen? Um, we are, well, we're not making more wattage, but we are making more amps. So I rewired these and reconfigured the parallel connections to the series of connections. And the way I did it was I wired more panels together to make them a big panel instead of doing like these two and those two and those three and these two and these two these bottom 390 watt panels are all four wired together into one giant solar panel the 420s that are up here um, those are both wired two and two together and the three on the end down there are wired together to make one giant solar panel we have much higher voltage and that has to be brought down and the amps cranked up even a little bit higher but the wattage didn't change that's cool uh, the panel way in the back there um, I cut it up I think one of the chickens during the winter you know because wires are you know, plastic and silicone everything gets stiff and hard I think one of the chickens tried to perch on there and she ripped it off five pound chickens are heavy 
So I cut those wires and I Mickey Mouse the other two smaller solar panel sets together. And uh, wouldn't you know it, <laughs> there's no sun today. It's cloudy. Yeah, not cool. I thought I would dig through some of those totes underneath the porch and pull out my masonry bit and get into drilling around the property so I can start inserting those electric fence posts. Why? Gonna let Pip out. Spent the other day uh, mowing the backyard or weed whacking the backyard and uh, it stinks. <laughs> That guy right there keeps getting out. That's the head hen. Okay. I can hear Charles's rooster crowing. Maybe they're talking to each other. He, he pushed out through the fence. He's getting smarter because he's watching us. Goats learn. He's not big enough to jump out. So he took his horns and he lifted. And the rocks on there, the fence went on top of the rocks. There was a gap and he just shoved his way out. And he's smart, so we're chasing him around the yard. You can't chase a goat. That's stupid. It's like trying to catch a pig. But Bella's smarter than I am. She goes inside the house and gets his little apple treats. These uh, big pellets. And we got licorice treats that Alexis gave us. And we have apple treats that we picked up because we thought we'd give them a variation of taste and flavor. I guess goats have a good sense of smell. What do I know? I'm a first-time goat owner. I want to get those electric fencing up. I want to get all this stuff cleared. And the secondary reason I wanted to do that is ticks. I uh, just pulled one off Bella's head this morning. There's no way I'm going to be able to push those plastic poles with those metal tips into the ground. It is lead with tons of rocks. It's just not going to happen. Um, yeah, I'm going to get to it. See? He pushed out. While we were talking. Look at that. He let everybody out. Hey, Bella. Pip is out. Pip is out. Pip. Can you do what you do and get the little treats and get them back in? What? Get the little treats and get them back in. I can't chase them. Why? Because he's a goat and, and goats are like that. He's going to travel all through the forest. We'll never see him again. Why can't you? Why can't I? Just because he likes you and he, 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 he runs for me. He likes me, but he likes you better. Get the little treats and... Don't record me. I won't record you. Oh. Alright, um, she doesn't like being on film, so we're going to cut it here. And she'll get him back in. And then... I'll work on <laughs> he's getting strikes you know there's one here mm. so baby chicks are out there foraging and um, that's kind of good you got treats for him yeah. all right got him back in she's awesome at that getting him back in terrible doesn't listen to me but solar's done. That's good news. We were promising we'd move the solar, and we did. Goats are a little smart. Maybe a little bit smarter than I am. What was I doing? Eh, I need to get that masonry bit. So I finally got that tarp. <laughs> I'm being told, and did a little research, just a little bit of research, that a natural mosquito repellent is garlic. Well, I smell like onions. It's work smarter and not harder. Someone around here doesn't work very hard. Just gotta wait till she's done. What? Ah, uh, the bantam, the little baby bantams. They're getting their feathers. Uh, one of them. What's his name? Rain's going. That last video about saving, she won't stop. All right, enough. I've had it with you. You'll end up in the barbecue. Say it, Billy. Got one for my groin. You know that middle space right between everything? It's in between everything. 
uh, had an itch and it wouldn't go away and I gave it a scratch and so detection mode I'm like probably got a tick down there I should go feel around and see if there is one and lo and behold little tiny tick so I yanked that off and bled like a pig Goats be like, freedom!